This house is between 1698 and 1701. It was a working farm. It had sheep and cows and various other animals. Um, the town's historical society said the house was built in 1690 and perhaps the oldest of such historical properties in this town. Um, flax was grown at the stream for weaving, wine and vinegar were made. Um, some of the original casks are here on the property. Chickens, horses, sheep and other animals. Um, the horse barn they think was built in the 1890s. There are two wells on the property. Um, our neighbor's home is the original cider mill that was part of this farm and our other neighbor has the barn where the animals were kept. We have the, the barn where the actual carriages which you can see here is the carriage over here. Um, this is the home when the Frosts owned it. I would say in the, mm, I don't know, I want to say early 1900s. Um, you can see uh, it had shutters on it. It seems like it was painted white. Um, and you can just see the main house here. This is another shot. You can see the L on the house, which was added later. Um, a Victorian barn because they think the barn was built in around the 1890s. There's a cupola up there. We are going to restore that. We're going to put another cupola up there. We haven't picked one yet. Um, they had a gate up, a wooden gate. We put um, wrought iron just to keep our kids in. Um, this is the before of the home, uh, before we painted it in the historic um, colonial color. Um, it was a kind of an off-white shade. This is a, a very large center chimney, which was, um, you know, the typical of the time, the Georgian um, colonial era. And uh, there are six fireplaces that work off of that center chimney. Um, we, there are 23 windows on the house, which is kind of a lot of windows, but that's typical of Georgians, I guess. Um, we have five acres and our neighbor has a couple of acres, so. Um, the farm is obviously broken up um, at this point. We have the original wooden um, beams in the home. Um, there's the working fireplace, which was the beehive oven in the keeping room. And all the original wood uh, and brick, you know, on the walls and fireplaces and mantles, it's all original. Um, wide plank floors are all original throughout the house. Um, as far as renovation, further renovations go, we are going to be doing a new roof and um, put the cupola back up. Uh, and we do want to, believe it or not, we want to do the attic over and make that a bedroom for us because we have three children. We eventually want to make that our bedroom so we have a little more room. Um, but we try to keep it, you know, in the historic time period, everything that we do, we try to keep it the way, you know, to keep the history going of the colonial um, period. Oh, one important thing so you don't forget is the Indian room. Um, my husband's closet um, was, is and was called the Indian room and during um, the era of the Prince Philip Wars um, with the Indians and the colonists, um, the colonists used to hide their children in the Indian room. They had very thick oak walls. Um, let me just check that. I think it's oak walls. Um, yes, oak walls, um, so that the Indians, you know, the Native Americans couldn't, you know, hurt the children.